All right, guys, I am Tech Chetri. In this video, I am going to talk about top 10 trending web GIS UIs. So let's get started. In the number 10, I have this Prims website, Pitland Restoration Information and Management System. So let's get started. So in this UI, what I like the most is like it's a kind of smooth and then it has the all the data catalog in the nav bar these boundaries or we can the pit lands these are the kind of webgis layers so based on our selection of this uh, layer catalog the active layer will available in the uh, bottom left corner so that from here we can just uh, reorder these layers and then we can also control the opacity these are the basic but mandatory things and also we can show and hide these layers and we can get the layer info so it's kind of cool and then also obviously we can reset these layers and from here we can also select the base map is like google satellite or rbi and then uh, this this is kind of very simple and effective way to uh, load your gis data if uh, you are using the uh, very uh, little number of your data catalog so that means in this system maybe there are hundreds of layers so based on different category you can check out this this prims website okay in number nine i kept the national geographer website so here you can see uh, it has by default one of the base map and then you can just add the layer by uh, using this layer catalog so it has nice catalog so we can just jump to the any categories and then we can just add layers to the map so after adding the map to the layer you can see the this layer active layer box like this and then your legend will be available here one cool thing about this site is uh, actually they implemented the grid system so that we can say uh, see the uh, grid lines based on like uh, intervals like 40 or 30 or something like this and then also we can bookmark this site and then also we can save and print this map directly instantly these are the some of the cool feature about this national geographers all right guys i kept this multi hazard risk assessment portal of tajikistan in the number eight category because it's kind of uh, simple very easy to uh, use and easy uh, interface so here are the some of the selection box based on our selection of map type the corresponding map will be available here and the um, corresponding data values uh, in the form of bar charts will be available here also the legend will be loaded here and then the of course you can change the uh, base layers to google maps or google satellite maps and then also you can change the opacity so one cool thing about this site is uh, the layer category are available in the menus so these are the main menus for this portal so hazard map ar map exposure map loss and risks based on these tabs we have similar kind of interface and then we can simply select the data and then just load uh, and then we can visualize it properly so yeah that's all about this multi hazard risk assessment portal all right guys i kept this resource accounting tool developed by ic mode in the number seven of my list because it's kind of uh, very uh, user friendly because here you can see the tool control and layers and legend things are available in the left panel and then the key informations are the available in right panel and then in the middle we have map and some of the graphs uh, graphical data so here uh, you can calculate the uh, any any land cover or temperature rainfall or forest loss uh, data using any basins so you just need to click compute and the system will automatically compute this information based on our available data source so you can visualize the land cover data as well as elevation data also you can filter the this year for forest loss as well you can visualize this data on the fly on the uh, on the map section visualization section also you can change the graphs and then 
also here is the download button for this kind of graph so you can download png jpg pdf or csv files so yeah so this is kind of simple interface so it will be very useful but the one thing i don't like about this portal is like there is no button to view this map in the full window maybe that will help to visualize the map properly all right guys i put this spi site in the number six of my list because it's kind of a little bit uh, different than other because here you can see the different menus for different kind of operation so we can see the uh, layer catalog over here in the view indicators tab and then here are two separated menu for two different kind of operation and also you can see there is the data upload section but uh, you have to sign in for this or continue as guest and then if you hover over the map it will automatically give us the information about these pixels one thing i really like about this site is we can choose the color ramp so that we can visualize our uh, data over here right so if we click on any pixel it will just zoom into the particular location and then the, it will show us the exact uh, data about this particular location so here you can see as i move my mouse the uh, related information will be available in the pop-up so i like this feature real uh, really and then this is the cool about this hpi site all right guys i added this fao hand in hand portal in the number five of my list because it's easy to use and then uh, it it has quite simple interface so what I like the most is uh, it has the data catalog so here are the main categories of data based on land, risk, water, climate, fishery, forestry and then also we can um, categorize again this data into this different category and then we can simply add it to the map. The info about this data will be available in the this catalog and then we simply add it to the map and then after adding to map we have this kind of filter buttons based on our selection data type and then we have also this time frame so based on the time frame we can visualize the data so also we can split the map so that we can compare the map in two windows so if i put this map in the uh, right left side and then the i have now the comparison window right all right guys i added this bipod portal in the number four of my list because it's it looks very smooth and then easy to use so here uh, you can see the data so if i hover over in data then other data will be uh, transparent so if i click on end data it will pop up the information related to that data and then also what i like the most about this portal is it has the different kind of uh, functionality uh, located in the right side of this web gis so i can see the incidents and then i can see the damage and loss and then real time data set and then profiles etc and then the based on selection of our this this uh, menus our left side will be appear and then we can just simply uh, see the visualize the maps but one thing i don't like about this portal is it will take too much time to load the data because i think it's quite heavy and then uh, yeah there are lots of data uh, in this portal so might be this might be one uh, one of the issue with this portal but uh, everything looks fine and then the maps are looking uh, really nice in this portal so i think uh, the interface is quite smooth uh, i i really the portal from afghanistan you can see some of the basic webjs functionalities are available here and map scale and mouse coordinate are available here and also here is the base map selection button so we can simply change the, the base maps and then also here is the available 
data catalogs. So here are mainly two types of data catalogs. So uh, the in the land resources, we can simply select the data based on our uh, selection of these categories and then we can visualize the map. Also, we can simply drag and drop uh, to uh, change the order of map. Also, there is the opacity control button and also we can remove this data from uh, this layer card as well. So apart from that, here is the data selection menu, uh, other kind of data selection menu, which is simply the drop down selections and then we can simply load the map here uh, in the uh, agroclimatic resource tab. So the corresponding legend will be available at the uh, bottom right corner of the map and then it looks quite smooth and then also in the map comparison part we have to we can select the two different kind of data sets and then we can compare these two maps side by sides like let me select the two data type and then we can compare these maps like this right so also we can select the different kind of uh, different kind of selection so we can we can select the map side by side comparison and then also we can like simply zoom in and zoom out to synchronize the two maps and the other options like this basic functionalities will be similar it's shown in the uh, az data tab so i i like this kind of interface very much so also we can zoom into the specific district as well so we can compare the two maps side by side or we can compare the two maps by slider view like this yeah this looks really cool for me uh, so i think you also like this portal so that's why i put it this um, this interface in the number third of my list okay this is the geonode portal it's the open source project so here what i like the most is the layer can be filtered based on different kind of type or category or group or date so if i select raster layers then it will uh, list out me only the raster layer if i select vector layers then it will list out me only the vector layers so let me select the vector and then let me go to one of the layer and then this will load our layer in the map view and then also here are lots of options available for this layer so we can download data view metadata or view layer or download metadata and also we can create the map using this layer and then uh, here are other options also available like information and then attribute and then we have share rating and then favorite option as well so if you like this portal actually you can implement this because it's the kind of open source project so let me let me view this layer as well in the full browser so it's kind of really rich interface for the webgis things so here you can see lots of options available like print and then measure catalog and then also you can source the um, things in sorts by the location name uh, yeah it's it's kind of very rich portal in the webgis field all right i put this urban footprint site at the top of my list i know it will be a little bit complex for the new visitors but that's definitely fine because it it has the um, proper structure of webgis so as you can see the main menus are available in the left panel and then the layer catalog will be available at the just behind these main menus just you need to select any layers to activate the layer and then the corresponding style and legend will be available at the at the next sidebar so for example uh, let me select this household cost so by default it has these classes and then if i edit it to the end the color the color will be instantly changed in the map so that i can save it and then also i can the i can filter this data and then also i can create the buffer and then i also i can see the source and one cool thing about this portal is 
I can show the attribute table as well so now I have this attribute table so from here I can see the all the available data of, from this my household cost data catalog also I can download this layer I hope you enjoy this video and let me know in the comment section if you like any other particular UIs or which one is your favorite one okay I'll see you in the next week